Come on into the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Milton Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Story makers. Hello. Has everybody gone? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro, at your service. Oh, oh look, Jelly. Here's something. I wonder what it is. How industrious. You're busy already. What are you doing? Well, you see, the thing is, the librarian went out today for a long time. Mm. And she took this bag with her. And we were wondering, where, where did, did she, she go? go? Ooh, that's a mystery. Oh, we've got a clue. Oh, yes. mm. Mm. You haven't been looking in the librarian's bag, have you? Oh, uh, well, just a bit. But we had to know, Milton. Yes, what is it, Milton? Mm, it looks like makeup to me, uh, though I don't wear the stuff myself. Makeup? <laughs> yes, blue makeup. For blue faces? Well, yes. Oh, that's a bit odd, isn't it? Mm, but can we have a story about makeup and people with blue faces? Oh, yes, yes. yes. Mm. And maybe it'll tell us where the librarian goes. Mm. <laughs> This is where we need your help. It takes a lot of imagination to get this story machine going. Come on, join in. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story! It's a playbook! Can you guess what it is? Face painting. A special visitor is coming to the playgroup today. She has brought a big bag with her. Let's see what's inside. There are paints, sponges, brushes and water. Can you guess what she's going to do? She's going to do some face painting. Billy is her first customer. Billy wants to be a tiger. First she paints his face all orange and yellow with a soft sponge. It feels a bit tickly, but Billy sits really still. Then with a brush, he gets a nose and stripes. Billy is a fierce tiger and growls to frighten his friends. Next, Anna wants to be a beautiful princess. The paint is a bit cold, but Anna doesn't mind. Anna wants to be a colourful, sparkly princess. She's the prettiest princess at playgroup. It's Sophie's turn. Can you guess what she wants to be? It's pink and yellow. Is she a flower? Is she a fairy? She looks really colourful and wants to fly away. Yes! She's a butterfly. At last it's David's turn. But he doesn't want to have his face painted. He wants to be the face painter instead. That gives him an idea and he whispers something. First, some red paint. What is David going to be? Then lots of black dots on his face and some green stalks. Yes, 
He's a strawberry. David loves strawberries and runs out into the playground to show all of his friends. The children love face painting day. If it was face painting day at your school, what would you like to be? <laughs> oh, so that's where the librarian goes. Isn't she clever? Yes. I've got an idea. Why don't we use the librarian's face paints to paint you, Jelly? Um, oh, no thanks. Ah, uh, I've got a better idea. Oh, uh, what about you, Jackson? Uh, uh, well, why don't I paint your face, Milton? Uh, well, I am. Um... I could make you into a snake, oh, like uh... this one here. <laughs> oh, um... oh. <laughs> I know. Why don't we use your snake to make a story? Oh, that's a good idea. Ah, yes. And then I'll paint your face. Uh, oh. Now it's your turn to put something into the machine. Your imagination. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story! Aha! It's a tale from far away, and it's called Sarasvati. It comes from a country called India. Sarasvati loved to dance to the sitar. One day, she was terrified by a passing cobra. She soon realized how much she could learn from its beautiful movements and became as if hypnotized. Soon afterwards, the cobra disappeared. And from that day forth, Sarasvati always remembered the snake's movements whenever she danced. was beautiful, wasn't she? And speaking of beautiful people, what on earth has become of our little jelly? Mm. Oh, what was that? Mm. Oh, why, it's Blue Cow. Mm. That's not Blue Cow. It's too small. It's me, Silly Jelly. Oh, Jelly. Mm. Well done, Jelly. What an excellent mask. I didn't want my face painted, so I painted a face for me to wear. Mm. Oh, is it time for me to paint your face, Milton? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, could we borrow your mask to make a story, Jelly? Oh, sorry, Milton. Oh. I've grown rather attached to it. Yeah. I've got an idea. Ooh. Time for a story, I think. Oh. Oh. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to paint Milton's face. <laughs> Ah, 
I'm still capable of a few surprises. Could you possibly spare me some more imagination? Thank you. Are you ready? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's a blue cow story. Moo. I knew it would be. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> It's called Blue Cow and the Magic Carpet. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders. Wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was looking at the green grass. I wonder what it would be like to stand on something other than grass. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place where I can stand on something other than grass, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a carpet shop. And then they arrived. Blue Cow was in a shop full of carpets. In the corner was a carpet that looked smaller and newer than the rest. Hello, it cried. I'm the Great Alley Carpet. Before your very eyes, this apple will magically disappear. He put an apple on the floor and rolled over it. Splat! The apple didn't disappear. It just looked a little bit more squashy. Ah, oh, said Alley. Let me make you disappear. Um. OK, said Blue Cow nervously. Ali leapt up and wrapped himself around and around Blue Cow until she could hardly breathe. Moo, uh, too tight, gasped Blue Cow. Sorry, he said, letting her go. I can't do anything right and I'm supposed to be a magic carpet. Well, I love your pattern, said Blue Cow, and you're very soft. Maybe I'm just a normal carpet. Will you try standing on me? Mm, all right. She stood on the carpet. Quiver, wobble, hover. They were floating above the floor. We're flying. You're a magical flying carpet, said Blue Cow. Up, up and away. They shot through the doorway and up into the sky. Moo-wee, cried Blue Cow as they swooped and soared up and down and round and round. I'm a magic carpet after all. Thank you, said Ali as they landed. Do come and fly with me again. Oh, thank you. I'd like that. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been for a ride on a magic carpet. Everyone knows cows can't go on magic carpets. But we know they can, don't we? Well, how time <gasps> flies. <gasps> Just like a carpet. <laughs> <laughs> The librarian will be here soon. Yes, correct, my little green goddess. The dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, story makers, story makers. Stories are fun. See you again soon.